We're now going to do the exterior of the vehicle. We've just checked the plate certificate inside the vehicle against our manifest to ensure we haven't got too much on the vehicle from what it can carry. So starting with the exterior, first thing I'm going to do, check the wheel arch isn't too close to the tyre due to there being too much weight and pushing it down to the floor. Spray suppression, make sure it isn't touching the floor. The only thing that should be touching the floor is your tyres. Wheel arch not too low, spray suppression not too low. The tyres themselves, make sure they're not spread out across the floor too much due to being too much weight pushing them into the floor. <clears throat> now at the back of the vehicle, twin wheels. Very similar to the daily walk around checks when we were checking that the, the tyre walls are not touching each other due to there being too much weight over the back axle pushing the tyres down too hard which then pushes the side walls into each other. So we're making sure that we can see a clear gap between the two tyre walls there. Also on the mud guard, making sure the mud guard isn't sat too low onto the tyre and it's actually touching the tyre and rubbing. Same as on the front one, spray suppression mustn't be touching the floor and the tyre walls mustn't be touching each other, mud guard mustn't be touching the tyre and the tyres don't look too soft. Working our way to the back of the vehicle. Then when we stand at the back of the vehicle, going to look directly at the vehicle, making sure when it's sat on a flat piece of land that the vehicle is sat nice and straight, isn't leaning to the left or the right due to there being too much weight on one side of the vehicle. Now, if all else fails and you still suspect that you have a problem and you think the vehicle could possibly be overloaded, you could Google a public weigh bridge, phone up, book your vehicle in, take the vehicle in and get it weighed and checked to make sure it isn't overloaded. If you have found the video informative, then please hit the like button down below. To see more Module 4 and all other content relating to your transport training needs, then please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also click on the bell icon to stay notified of any new content added to our channel so that you never need to miss out. Thank you very much for watching today and see you next time on the next video.